Hi folks, welcome to the first video lecture of Algebra 1. Today, we'll be talking about system of linear equations. Before that, we need to know what a linear equation is. So, a linear equation in n variables x1, x2, xn is of the form a1x1 plus a2x2 plus a and xn is equals to b where a1, a2, a n are coefficients and b is said to be the constant term of this linear equation. A solution to this linear equation is an n tuple x1 star, x2 star, xn star that satisfies this linear equation. Now, a linear equation in two variables x and y is of the form a1x plus a2y is equals to b and it represents a straight line in R2. Similarly, a linear equation in three variables x, y and z is of the form a1x plus a2y plus a3z is equals to b and it represents a plane in R3. Generalizing this to a linear equation in n variables x1, x2, xn is of the form a1x1 plus a2x2 plus an xn is equals to b and it represents a hyperplane in Rm. Now we move ahead to see what a system of linear equation is. So a system of m linear equations in n variables is nothing but a collection of m linear equation in the same variables x1, x2, xm. A solution to this system is an n tuple x1 star, x2 star, xn star that satisfies all of these m linear equations simultaneously. And the set of all these solutions taken together is called the solution set. The question that arises now is that whether a solution always exists? Let's see. The answer is no. A solution may or may not exist. And accordingly, a system is categorized as a consistent system and an inconsistent system. A consistent system definitely has at least one solution. Depending upon the number of solutions, it is again categorized into two categories. Unique solution, when the solution has, when the system has only one solution. And infinitely many solutions, when a system has infinitely many solutions. A system is said to be inconsistent if there does not exist any solution at all. So this is the case of no solution. Let us take a look at some examples and figure out under what cases the solution is unique, infinitely many or no solution. The system x1 plus x2 is equals to 1, x1 minus x2 is equals to 0, 2x1 plus x2 is equals to 1. This is a system of three equations in two variables x1 and x2. Since we have only two variables, it is easy to plot the equations as straight lines and see what the solution is. The first equation here, x1 plus x2 is equals to 1, represents this line here which passes through 0, 1 and 1, 0. The second line x1 minus x2 is equals to 0 is this line here which passes through 0, 0, half, half. The third line here passes through the points 0, 1 and 1 by 2, 0. So it is this line here. 
it can be seen from the plot that there is no ordered pair x1, x2 that satisfies all of these three equations simultaneously. Hence, this, in this case, the system is inconsistent. So, the solution does not exist. Let us take a look at another system. The system x1 plus x2 is equal to 2, x1 minus x2 is equal to 0, 2x1 plus x2 is equal to 3. Again, we have three equations and two variables. So again, we plot it and see how the solution looks like. The first line here, x1 plus x2 is equal to 2, corresponds to this line here, which passes through 0, 0,2 and 2, 0. The second line here passes through 0, 0, 1, 1. And the third line here passes through 0, 0,3 and 3 by 2, 0. So it is uh, this line here. It can be seen that the point 1, 1 passes through all of these three straight lines. Hence, the ordered pair 1, 1 satisfies all of these three equations simultaneously. Hence, our system is consistent. Let us figure out whether there is any other solution or not. It is clear from the plot that there is no other point that lies on all the three lines simultaneously. Hence, this is the case of unique solution. Let us further take a look at another system. x1 plus x2 is equal to 2. 2x1 plus 2x2 is equal to 4. 3x1 plus 3x2 is equal to 6. Here again we have three equations in two variables. So we again plot the equations and see what the graph looks like. We can see that all of these three equations correspond to the same straight line which passes through 0, 0,2 and 2, 0. So all of the points that lie on this straight line satisfy all of these three equations. Thus, in this case, the system is consistent with infinitely many solutions. So, this is the case when there are infinite number of solutions to this system. In all of these examples, we have taken only two variables. And so, it was easy to graph the equations and look for solutions, but in practical problems, we usually have many variables together. So, the graphical method cannot be applied to a major class of system of linear equations where we have more than two variables. So, what next? Substitution? Now again, substitution can be applied to a very limited set of system of linear equation as it becomes time consuming with an increase in the number of variables. This is an implication that we need a method that can be applied to any system of linear equations and it can be done by writing the given system in matrix form. So this was the general system that we had considered earlier. Writing this general system in the form Ax is equals to B, where A is a matrix obtained by writing the coefficients of all of the linear equations considered in the system and thus A is called the coefficient matrix. Since this is a system that contains m equations and n variables, so A here is m cross n matrix, the matrix X is an n cross 1 matrix and this is called the matrix of unknowns and the matrix B is an m cross 1 matrix which is obtained by considering all the constants appearing in the system of linear equation and this is called the matrix of constant. The corresponding augmented matrix for this system of linear equation is this which is obtained by conjoining the matrices A and